So if you are live streaming as a gamer or you're live streaming as an entrepreneur or content creator in any arena, then you've got to hear about the Roland VR 1 HD. And in this video, we're going to be sharing all the details coming up. This video is brought to you by Skillshare. A lot goes into building a successful YouTube channel, learning video editing, photography, graphic design, and smart business skills. Skillshare gives you access to over 25,000 online classes so you can develop the skills you need to succeed and crush your goals this year. I love getting access to classes from social media experts like Guy Kawasaki and YouTubers like Thomas Frank's class on productivity or Sarah Dietschy's class on how to vlog. Skillshare is also super affordable with annual subscriptions coming in at less than $10 a month. Join more than 7 million creators learning with Skillshare and the first 500 Think Media subscribers to use the link in the description will get a two-month free trial. Just click the link in the description to get started today. Hey, what's up? Sean here with Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And we're here at CES at the Roland booth. I'm here with Christian, who's part of the global marketing team. And we're talking about this brand new streaming mixer. Christian, what's happening here? Sure, so this is the VR1 HD, and it's a streaming appliance that's designed actually intended for creators. So what we've done is given you a way that you're gonna get that same high quality content that you produce and normally post. You can do that, but do it live. So you're gonna, you know, all the platforms are now pushing live content more and more than posted content. So this way you can, you know, bring that, that caliber and engage with your audience in real time. Yeah, and ultimately we'll get into this, the specs and all of the things you could do here, but you have a lot of power to give you the ability to switch and multiple sources, but with a simple USB out. So if you wanna go live on Facebook, live on YouTube, Twitch, whatever, then you can mix all that content and put that final output really easily, right? That's correct. So you do all your production and just goes out the USB port on the back, shows up like a webcam on your Mac or your PC. Super, super easy. All right, well let's go through the specs and what the features are here. Sure. So with the VR1 HD, you can input three sources. And these are what we call no hassle HDMI input. So what it means is each input can take its own video resolution. So a lot of video switchers, you have to match your camera sources so everything matches the switcher. This one you don't have to. You just plug in your, your uh, equipment, be it a computer, a gaming console, uh, camera, and it just accepts it and it's ready to go. In fact, if you're a gamer, the third input even has a dedicated through so you don't get any latency from the video switcher. You can just go directly to your monitor so you're playing in real time because latency is a big issue for gamers. 100%. I love it. And then there's a couple other inputs on the back there. Yeah, absolutely. So you got your HDMI, then you got your uh, HDMI outputs, so you're able to see it on the screen. And then uh, as far as audio, we've got two high quality uh, microphones. So if you use professional microphones that require fan and power, you can just turn that on. Then if you have a more robust audio um, uh, mixer or something like that, you can just input that through the audio ins as well. Plus, your game audio or any audio coming from the HDMI inputs is also mixed in here as well. That's awesome, and those are phantom power inputs. You have a gooseneck on one of these in the B-roll footage that we captured here, but you could do any mic at all you want and up to two mics. That's correct, exactly. The reason we put the gooseneck on there is that if you're the talent and the director, the gooseneck is right there. It just makes a nice tabletop interface for you to use. That's brilliant. Well, tell me about the rest of the features here. Sure, absolutely. Switching, real straightforward. Input one, two, three, as you need to. Then we have a number of scenes. So if you're gaming and you have a camera on you, and you want to do an inset window, you can set those up any way you want. So you can adjust the zoom that's inside the window, you can adjust the size. Uh, you can even do a split, so if you want to be full length down the side of the screen and then your game on the right side or the left side, you can do that. So these scenes, you just set them up and you can switch between scenes as you're playing or as you're podcasting or interviewing somebody as a creator for that. And how do you set those up? Are we talking about hardware here or is there some software that works with it to control these things? Uh, the answer is both. So uh, right on the screen, on your output screen, you can go in and you can make all the adjustments. Then there's also a software that communicates over the USB port that you can do all the settings on your computer as well. Fantastic. And then there's a few other knobs and these uh, uh, sliders here as well. What's up? Sure, absolutely. So again, you know, the more hardware and tactile things you can move on your own, uh, the better, the faster, and the easier it is to uh, produce what you're doing. So these are, are the faders for your microphone levels as well as the line input. You can also adjust the volume for the uh, HDMI inputs through the menu system. Um, and then this section over here is actually uh, pretty 
pretty cool. So you can set up to, uh, these buttons are multi-purpose. The first one is a voice changer. So one of our most popular products is a voice transformer. So if you're a gamer and you like to transform your voice, or if you're playing as a character, this will actually allow you to change the character of your voice. So a guy can play as a girl, a girl can play as a guy, you can play as a monster, an ogre, a robot, whatever you want. All those effects right through the voice changer. So that's, that's kind of a cool, unique feature. You can play it to either mic, and each mic can actually have its own voice changer settings if you're playing uh, with somebody. Also, uh, these buttons, you can play back audio samples. So if you have applause or stingers or like booyah, or you have your own theme music, you can just hit that. It'll start your theme music, fade it out at the end, and then you can start your podcast or, or your game that you're doing. And then there's reverb if you're a singer or somebody like that as well. So there's some other cool... Uh, audio features that we built in there as well. Super cool. And then I saw this menu button here and the ability to really quickly toggle through with that guy right there. And then the key for getting some chroma key going, right? Um, it's actually uh, a luma key. So if you want to do titling, that's okay. what it's intended for. So there's no chroma keying in this particular unit. Excellent. And then the on-air button is what pushes the live out? Um, basically, it fades up your video and your audio. So you can start with a white screen or a black screen. And you just hit on air and boom, you're fade in for your video to start. 100%. Now, this unit's super cool. What is the uh, price and timeline of this hit in the market? Sure. Uh, $14.95 in the U.S. as the retail price that you'll find it at most dealers. And then uh, probably April is when you'll see it. Excellent. And then we talked a lot about gaming. Obviously, it has relevance. But talk about a few of the, few of the use cases you would see for an entrepreneur, a small business, a content creation team for using something like this. Sure, absolutely. So just about anything you want to broadcast over the internet, you can pretty much uh, use it for. So again, we've designed this one because this is part of a family called the VR series. So we have another three mixers that are in this series that you can get. Um, but with this one, we really intended it for the person that wants to direct and be the talent at the same time. So a few other features that are in here is the ability to have the audio help the video. So if you're, we're doing an interview like this and we each have our own microphone, when you talk, it'll switch to your camera. When I talk, it'll switch to mine. If we're both talking or nobody's talking, it'll switch out to the wide shot that we have set up. Also, if you're a musician or a DJ and you're broadcasting, we have beat sync switching. So it'll follow the beat of the music and you can set it up randomly and it'll just kind of move with the tempo of what you're doing uh, musically. Then there's also a general auto switch that if you're covering a concert or something like that, you don't have an operator, you can just set it and it'll just keep going as you go. So um, as you said, small businesses that want to do the, you know, the president's uh, address to the company, uh, online trainings, retail training, you know, it's, it's just a great all-in-one studio. It's super easy to use. That's super smart. And in the Think Media community, uh, I think it would be very practical if you wanted to set up a show and you're going to go live weekly and you've got your two mics, your two cameras, and you get that all dialed in, you could pretty much just turn it on and let it switch for you is kind of what you're saying. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And then you go live on YouTube, on Facebook. This is doing the heavy lifting for you. And once you kind of dial it in, you've got a very powerful unit. Well, very pumped about this. Of course, we'll link all the details in the description below. And so I'm super excited excited that we got to get our eyes on this Roland Mixer. I think it definitely has some use cases for some of us in the Think Media community. You know, live streaming is a big deal this year. I want to encourage you, leverage live streaming on YouTube, on Facebook. And actually, we get a lot of questions about our live streaming setup. And if you haven't seen that video, uh, we'll link it up on the YouTube card and put it in the description below. The capture card we use, the cameras we use, the software we use. But I'm excited to research this more and hopefully get our hands on one. Question of the day, are you currently live streaming? Are you live stream on YouTube, on Facebook. What do you use and what did you think about the Roland unit? Let me know in the comment section below.